Hey, I'm Sarah. I usually do art stuff, but today I'm going to show you how I make a terrarium. This is just a list of stuff you need, screenshot if you want. So I basically got everything for this project at the reject shop. Um, I use these glass jars, these are really great. Um, there's a small one and a big one, you can use that one. Um, you can basically use like any big glass jar though, all of them work. I also found these really cute decorations at the reject shop as well, they're so cute. Next you want to grab some plants, so um, you want to grab something that is small, that will stay small and low to the ground, otherwise it'll get too big for the glass jar. After you get some plants you want to go for a little walk, um, and we're going to go look for some moss. So I found some under a tree, you can find it in basically anywhere that's like dark, um, somewhere that stays like fairly shaded, you can find some moss, so you really only want to grab like a couple of pieces, you don't want to grab too much because otherwise there'll be no more moss. Also, ignore the butter knife. I couldn't find my little shovel thingy. <laughs> okay, and now that you have all of your stuff, you can start putting it together. So grab your rocks, pop them at the bottom. Um, just chuck them in, they don't really need to be in any order or anything. And you just do this so you can protect the bottom of the plant so they don't get root rot, basically. Next, you pop in the dirt. If you don't have any dirt in a bag at home, you can just grab some from the garden or wherever you can find some, really, doesn't matter. <laughs> I say this just because you really don't need much. So these are the plants I got. Very cute. <laughs> also there's a caterpillar on one of my plants and I thought that was important to show you. So after I moved the caterpillar and put it into the garden, I just started breaking up the plant into smaller pieces and putting it into the big jar. Now for this one I chose to put the plants like in the corners, but it also works really well when you put the plants just in the middle. Um, and you can really do anything you want, so you can design any sort of layout that you like and then pop the plants in as you want them. Unfortunately for me, I lost the rest of the footage, so I'm going to tell you exactly how I made this. So, so keep going with your plants, plant them, and then pop your moss in. Just anywhere that there was bare ground, um, it just has to go on top of the, the dirt, basically. And then you put your, your uh, decorations in and that's it. <laughs> it's really simple. Next thing is just wipe the insides of the jar, make sure there's no dirt on the wall so it doesn't look yucky. And next we water the terrarium, there's not really a wrong answer with this, you can put a bit of water in and if there is too much just open the lid up a little bit and it'll be fine. And this is the end product here. All you have to do is close the lid and pop it near a window and it's done. 